Hey there, my friend, Perry Tinsley here. Have you ever heard the phrase, investing in your future self, where you're putting the, the time, the energy, the effort, uh, maybe it's for exercise or whatever, you're doing those activities now uh, to improve the life that you desire in, in, in the future. And this is as opposed to focusing on the little things that aren't really going to move you closer to your goals or whatever that vision that you have. And we can't help but think of the future, right? I mean, most people, when we're thinking of the future, a lot of times we, we let fear limit our view of the future. And we've, we, what ends up happening is we have a tough time seeing far enough down the road that we end up making these foggy plans day after day, month after month, sometimes year after year. You know, think of the New Year resolution stuff, right? Um, and we focus on the immediate struggles, the fires that we need to put out, the distractions that we barely look up to see where it is that we want to go. And every time, every once in a while, we'll peek, and then we'll be like, oh, you know, and then we focus on the daily things, right? So we're going to talk about this. The one threat blocking you from becoming that future self that you desire. Stay tuned. Hey there, my friend. Welcome to the Power Blast podcast, where we provide nourishment for the soul, allowing you to transform from the inside out, providing you rapid results in mindset and fitness so that you can recharge your battery and reclaim that power of yours. But before we talk about this threat <laughs> that's blocking you from your goals, make sure when you are ready, make sure you, that, that you head over to my calendar at talktoperry.com, free call. Uh, and I open that up for specifically for podcast listeners, um, my, my podcast listener and viewer like you, uh, because it's all about keeping that energy high and so you can reach all of your goals. And I want to help you recharge your battery, that mental and physical battery of yours. That's what I'm talking about, so that you can reclaim your power. We do that in 15 minutes. That's over at talktoperry.com. So let's talk about this stuff. You know, so many times I, I check in with people. You know, how's, how's life going? You, you told me that you had some big goals that you were going all in on and you were committed to. How's, how's that going? How's that progressing? And so often I'll hear, well, I'm doing okay or doing good or whatever. You know, I'm, I'm just busy. You know, life got busy. This thing happened or this thing happened. But I'll get on, on track really soon because I've, I've got to make myself a priority. And, you know, I get it. You know, so many of us, we want to achieve things and win. You know, when we find ourselves driven by these these short-term activities, you know, th thinking that once my schedule clears, once the planets align, once all these things will happen, uh, you know, then get out of the way, I can focus on me, right? But you've got the short-term activities of work, bills, kids going to school, uh, maybe it's getting the oil changed, mowing the lawn, whatever it is for you, you know, catching the newest Netflix, right? But it's getting by day to day, month after month. And, you know, you, you might even throw in the occasional vacation uh, or family family trip or whatever the whatever the day trip you might do. But you're always in the hurry. You're always busy. And time. Seriously, when that's happening, time just seems to fly by faster and faster. You know, where did the week go? Where did the month go? Where did the year go? Right. So let me ask you if you can you relate to any of that? I mean, I, I know I was on that hamster wheel for a long time. You know, think about this. Can you project and, and see yourself w doing this busy routine of yours five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now? Now, a lot of us, we have a tough time thinking of what life will be five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now. But if you take a look at the things that you are involved in that's making you so busy, will you see yourself doing that in the next 5, 10, 20 years? You know, the biggest threat, and this is the, this is the big threat, the topic today is, and, and it's blocking you from the future life or the future self that you desire, is getting yourself so busy and absorbed in these urgent small goals. And I hear you, you know, you probably say, yeah, Perry, but my life's different. You know, I've got this, I've got this, I've got this. And, and that's a life that you've designed, whether it was consciously or subconsciously, you know? And just a simple shift, a simple shift in your mindset, in your focus, you can start to alter 
habits and behaviors so that you can connect to that ideal self that you desire to be. I mean, if you get serious, you know, if you get serious and you start investing in yourself, learning more about yourself, where could you be in the next five years? You know, that's what that, that that's what I decided to do when I was making the decision. And I finally want I just finally wanted to get off this hamster wheel. Um, and I needed to take responsibility. I knew it was my actions or my thinking or whatever it was I was doing or not doing that was keeping me in this loop. And I was like, I've, I've got to figure out how to break the loop. Um, every year, same resolution, maybe spun a little bit different way. This year is going to be my year. And then get into it a few weeks, maybe not getting the results as instantly as I wanted, letting distractions get in the way. And while I wouldn't admit to quitting, I would drift so far off course that I just stopped. Same thing as quitting, right? Um, and I would and I would give myself a shallow promise to commit again, maybe a couple times during that year, and then the New Year's again uh, uh, here. And of course, you got to pick a resolution, right? Same resolution, same hamster wheel. I'm not getting off this thing, you know, drifting off course year after year. So I, you know, I, I would have big plans. Then these small, and they seemed important. They seemed important at the time, but they really weren't. They would pop up. I'd give them my attention, figuring I could get that out of the way and get, then get back on track. But I, I really couldn't sustain that, you know. So then one year, Hit a, hit a tipping point. Maybe, maybe this is you. Maybe this is resonating with you right now. I decided to put myself no, you know, put myself first no matter what and make me the priority. And while it sounded selfish, I knew I needed to start taking care of my health, my fitness, my mindset, because I already saw the roadmap of unhealthy behaviors of family members and friends just a few years older than me or maybe 10, 20 years older than me. I saw the roadmap, I saw the blueprint, and I didn't want that blueprint. So I started focusing on longevity. Now that was in my mind, I didn't really say it out loud right away, but I started creating 90 day goals. You know, 90 day goals, where will this get me, and then where can I go to the next 90, and then the next 90, right? And I just kept that, I, I was looking at my long term vision. So every time I was, I was testing things out, I was going, is this sustainable? Is this something I could keep going? Is this going to catapult me to that desired future self I've got riding in my brain here? You know, I think something that I could design instead of what life was taking me down by default, right? So it, there's, a, there's a really cool, I don't know if it's an illustration, uh, probably a, a, something that Stephen Covey did. You, you probably know him with, as the... Um, Oh gosh, the Seven Habits I think is the 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 one he did the other day. Um, I was thinking it was Eat That Frog, but it's I think it's the Seven Habits of Highly Successful People. Uh, that's that's what he did, um, and I I think this this actually is over on YouTube, but anyway, you can visualize this um, because it's all about time management, right? So picture having a bucket, a pail, and you've got some big rocks, and then you've got some smaller little pebbles in there to put in there. Um, and all of them will fit into the bucket. Um, the big rocks, they represent you know, your big goals, your big dreams. The, the small pebbles, those are kind of like the small insignificant things. Maybe it's the day-to-day -day things. You know, they, they matter, but they're not ones that are going to really add up to get you to your big, big dreams and big goals. So a lot of times, people will put all of the small pebbles, those little, little things, into the pail and then try to fit in the big dreams, the big goals, but then they're left with a bunch of ones outside of the bucket that they just can't address or they don't forget, you know, can't get in there because the small rocks are in there. But if you were to spend time and focus putting all your energy into the big goals, the big dreams, the big rocks, put those in first, you can fill in the gaps around it. With the small pebbles, everything fits in there. You can you can go and look on that. I just thought it was a great illustration because when we put the urgent distractions before the important things, we never get to the important stuff. That that that's the idea behind it. We're never reaching the goals that we set out to do year after year. 
you know, and we either intentionally or unintentionally let those distractions happen. So there is a simple shift that can happen. I do go deeper into this. I I have a free masterclass that I do every month, and I didn't intend for this um, podcast to talk about my masterclasses. But I'll tell you what. Uh, If you were to text the word masterclass, and here's my number here, it's uh, 208-400-5559. If you were to text the word masterclass there, I will send you updates of when the next one's going to go. Uh, Because really, the only... The only way off this hamster wheel, that day-to-day thing, is starting to prioritize what's important. I really go deep into that there. So um, I think it's called, uh, the next one's called Accelerate. Is that having that future self of you and where you're currently at, and I don't know if I have my hands on but instead of you trying to constantly chase the future self, it's bringing your future self to you as you go after it and accelerating that a lot faster. Didn't you like my little illustration there? Really cool, right? Um, But... It's, it's being able to look up and clearing the foggy window that you've got there so that you can connect with the future self that you desire to be. So what are those big rocks for you in life? You know, what is it a project that you're wanting? Is it uh, time or things you want to do with your loved ones? Is it your health and fitness? Is it to travel? Maybe it's a cause or a purpose. Maybe maybe it's, it's teaching somebody or, or mentoring others. You know, that, that fires me up. Be sure to focus on your priorities and put yourself first. Otherwise, they're not going to fit in the bucket. They're going to be these little things that you thought were important and you really wanted to do, but eh, that's a someday maybe thing. And it stays in the someday maybe pile, right? So what opportunities are you missing simply because you're focused on the urgent small goals? Um, There's a guy by the name of uh, Wayne, Wayne Dyer. When you change the way you see things, the things you see change. Isn't that the truth? So instead of being so busy bouncing from thing to thing to thing, start being that future version of yourself now. Start thinking, behaving, acting as the person that you desire to be uh, doing. I mean, go for it. You know, beyond what you're capable of, it's believing in yourself, eliminating the threat that's blocking you. And that's getting caught up in the small little things from day to day to day. You know, are those moving you closer to your dreams? So just know, I mean, you can choose to use your power, take control, or you can let the excuses, the distractions, the alibis, the justifications, the I'm putting it off until the, the planets align sort of thing. Drain your power and control you. It's deciding and committing to yourself and your goals. And it does it does take time and focus, but it's choosing to figure out new ways, looking at possibilities, growing, and keep moving forward. I'd love to hear top takeaways from today. Drop those in the comments. I do reply to those. And you absolutely rock, my friend. And as always, remember, it's never too late. We'll see you next week. That's another Power Blast podcast in the books. Thanks so much for tuning in. And remember, when you are ready... To recharge your battery, make sure you go to TalkToPerry.com. That's TalkToPerry.com. That's P-E-R-R-Y. And I want to listen. I want to hear, you know, what's going on. I want to help you in that 15-minute call to recharge your battery and reclaim your power so that you're off and running and creating massive momentum toward your dream. Also, every day, I am delivering more motivation, support, tips, and strategies inside my free community with amazing people uh, like yourself. And we are conquering the mindset and the fitness. I do 52 weeks of free training in there. Plus, I coach and I mentor people as well as give you access to tons of resources and guides. It's called my Upside Down Fitness Community because we work on a lot of mindset stuff, the inside stuff. And we're a fun group of people striving to make healthier habits in this awesome chapter of life. So uh, make sure you get in there. I promise you'll absolutely love it. Just head over to UpsideDownFit.com and you can get into the group. And hey, you would be an awesome friend. If you get over to iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcast and leave an honest rating and review for the Power Blast podcast. It helps awesome people like you find this show even faster and that's who I'm looking for awesome people like you that's all I have for this week my friend and just to let you know you absolutely rock that's all I have for this week I'll see you on the next power blast podcast and always remember it's never too late we'll see you next week